Today I'm going to show you the monitoring of backups and antivirus through device roles. Device roles are the core of monitoring and automation in Navrisk. I'm going to set up a backup monitoring role, then I'm also going to import a role for antivirus. After that I'll show you how to set up the reporting on the success and failure of your backups and antiviruses and schedule them for your clients. Now I'm going to set up a monitoring role for the backup. In this example I'm going to use the Windows built-in backup system. Simply go to settings, then to device roles. In the top right hand corner click on new role, give the role a name, then set up any monitored services that it may use by selecting the device that it's installed on, going to the service and selecting stopped. Or you can change this to restart failed and have it automatically try to restart the service. You can set up any monitored ports that it might use if it's to connect to another server. But under the monitored events, we want to add the success and failure events that it raises. After doing some research, we know that the event source it's going to use is Microsoft dash windows dash backup and the success event is 4. We leave the event type as any and we change our SLA class to backup, the SLA status to be an information ticket just to let us know that it's done and if it sees that event we want it to write success for that day. Once we've filled this in hit save then do a second one for the failure. Now there are several failure ones that can create. Now there are several different failure events so to make sure we capture them all again we do our event source. We leave the ID blank but we change the event type to error. Again we change the SLA status to be backup, the SLA status to be failure and the reporting status to be failure and hit save. So now we're picking up both the success and failures. If applicable you can also add monitored files by their comparison of older or younger than, smaller or larger and exists or doesn't exist. Also the ability to have monitored scripts. This will allow you to run scripts on a per second, minute or hourly basis. Once you have completed your device role, click save role. Then you'll want to copy the device role down to the sub-clients that you want to be affected. In this list I just look for the server 2008 backup role I created. Select that and then the different clients that I want it to be copied to. Once I've copied and overwritten it to all sub-clients, I then go back to devices, go down to the client that I want to apply this on, select the several different machines that I want to have that device role. Then in the tasks drop down menu click update roles and tick the different device roles that I want to apply to this. Here is our Windows Server 2008 backup role. I simply tick that box and hit add roles. Now you will notice that a lot of our device roles in Navrisk are out of the box. However you may find one that you can't find here. What you can do is look into the Navrisk routine store to see if anyone else from the community has already created one. To do this simply go to the help tab and go down to Routine Store. Now for this example I'm going to look for one for Microsoft Security Essentials. Under the Routines for Antivirus Management I can see there's one here called Microsoft Security Essentials. Simply click on Download this routine, save it to file which you'll notice is an NRL file. Once you've done that go back to your Navrisk installation, back to the Settings tab, click on Import Roles and navigate to that device role. After you've found it make sure you select it and load it into Navrisk. So now I have a Microsoft Security Essentials role and again I want to copy that device role to my sub clients. In the morning you may want to create a view to see all of the different backup statuses and antivirus. You can do this in two different ways. One is by running a report and the second is by filtering your tickets. So if I want to see any current failure tickets for our backups, simply enable filters, select our SLA class and choose backup. Apply this filter and you can see now all the different tickets for backup. You may want to save this, so click on save filter, give this a name, and now you can always select that different ticket filter from the list of save filters. Now in regards to the reports, these are very handy because we can automate this completely to send a copy of these reports to your clients on a daily or weekly basis, on a weekly or monthly basis. Simply go to the scheduling tab, select the client you want to set this up for, click on new job and here you can set up the job for an example give the job a name set up the calendar so every Friday at midday he gets a automated report for his backup detail over the last week so it's automatically sent to Adam at K Sports as well as our support desk for archiving. Now to show you what that report looks like we go to the reports and under devices you'll find we have an, an antivirus detail and backup report. Click on the one that you want. You can choose to run this for all clients or the specific client you choose. And in here you can now see a day-by-day -day detail of how the backups work. As you can see in my example 
we have warnings. Now this means that it actually has not seen a success or a failure from the event logs. And this could be for two reasons. One, that the backup system has actually stopped working altogether and we'll need to investigate why. Or two, we aren't picking up the right event source and ID. An easy way to tell this is by going to the device that we're looking at, going into the device, under the event log tab, and simply searching for the event log that it raises here inside this window. Remember that if it is under information, simply click the information here and click on retrieve information again. 